Okay, this is a quick explanation of the different modes in Pro Tools. They're up here on the top left of your screen. Uh, shuffle, Spot, Slip, and Grid. So Slip allows you to freely move a region around anywhere. As opposed to Grid, that will lock the region to a specified place on these grid markers. And so every time you move it, it'll move in an even increment directly to that grid. You determine what the grid is over here. So it can either be bars and beats, or it can be minutes and seconds, or samples or region markers. But for music, obviously you're gonna be using bars and beats more often, so you would choose that. And then you can see the increments can change here. We just selected quarter notes, so the, each bar represents the marker of a quarter note. Eighth note, they get a lot closer together. Quarter note, you can see them getting further apart. So then it'll just evenly move in quarter note increments. There's another kind of grid. If we were to move this slightly off the grid like that in slip mode, um, there's a situation that comes up a lot with uh, instruments like guitar, where you might want to cut a section and move it and copy it to another part of the song. But the guitar player, if he's strumming, will often start the strum before the exact um, marker, grid marker. So if you cut it right there on that marker, you'll cut half the strum off. So that might look like this, where here's your line of the grid, the perfect quarter note, but you have this little bit uh, that's like could represent the beginning of a uh, strum on a guitar. You change it to relative grid. Every time you move it, it will stay relative to that grid marker, that same exact amount, which is very handy. As opposed to if we are in absolute grid, it'll put us back on that marker exactly. Another mode is spot mode. If you know exactly where you want to go, you put it in spot mode and just click on the region and this prompt comes up. You can type in an exact location, it'll automatically go there. Shuffle mode, if you have several regions, say it looks like this, if you put it in shuffle mode, you can take this region and have it jump directly up against this region. Or you can swap them this way. You can see the yellow line appears, that's where when you release the mouse button, that region is gonna go. So you could put it here, here, it will always just go directly up against the other region. So that's the very basics of those four modes.